Hey everybody, um, this is Kevin Rice, and so yesterday I went to Publix after I went back from Miami, and uh, I observed that I had an unloving thought about a stranger in the supermarket, a judging thought about a brother, okay? I call everybody my brother or my sisters because they are. And then I remembered from Lesson 39 from the Chorus, right? Um, and it says, my un unloving thoughts about this stranger is keeping me in hell. Let me say this again. My unloving thought about this guy is keeping me in hell. Now, we know from the text that every loving thought is true, and everything else is nothing more than a call to love, okay? That's it. So, it's all about my mindset here. And you can dismiss your thoughts as much as you want to, but it will keep you in hell. It will. Uh, every thought that I think uh, will manifest itself on some level in my experience in time and space. And, you know, I know this is a difficult, uh, challenging time for you, but I just want to remind you that only love heals in every way, okay? That it's our responsibi uh, responsibility to pierce the darkness with love and light. This is powerful and potent every time you exercise it in your mind. If you think your thoughts are private, okay, oh, I don't like Sally, I don't like Jack, whatever, uh, but it doesn't make any impact because I'm not verbally giving it to another person. Well, that's just your BS, your belief system, okay? So, look, um, Teach only love, for that is what you are. But you cannot give what you do not have. So if your mind is full of fear, if your mind is full of attack thoughts, if your mind is full of judgment, then you are in hell. And you're not experiencing the peace of God. You're not experiencing uh, bliss. You are taking that first step in the descent toward hell. Okay? So if you are giving, for instance, fear, you're telling yourself that you're full of fear. If you are attacking your brother and sister, then you are full of attack inwardly. <clears throat> Every unloving thought is an attack upon yourself. So it's really important that we suspend judgment entirely, okay? So <clears throat> if we continue to traffic in judgment. And what is judgment? Judgment is nothing more than the belief that what God is and what has what God has made can and will be changed by our own thoughts, our perceptions, our interpretations. That is judgment. What else is judgment? Judgment is nothing more than a massive unconscious guilt projected upon you. You're the problem not me, okay? That is an attack. That is judgment. So you're either full of guilt and repressing it and projecting it upon other people, or you are experiencing its opposite, which is your innocence. You say, Kevin, how do I know that I'm experiencing my innocence? I know that I'm experiencing my innocence right now because the past and the future does not intrude upon the present moment. In other words, I'm clean. I'm holy. And by the way, so are you. So are you. You say, I don't feel innocent. I don't feel holy. I don't feel sacred. Well, that's because perhaps you have trafficked uh, in grievances or the grudges in the past or trying to organize what cannot be organized in the present or maybe you are 
uh, planning for the uncertainties of the future as you wish, as Kevin Rice wishes, uh, wishes without any guidance or that higher direction that is given to us each and every day. So I have to admit, like yesterday at Publix, um, I have done this thing, and it is this that I will undo. I have done this thing, and it is this that I will undo. In other words, I myself have participated in thoughts of judgment. I have participated in thoughts of hate. I have participated in thoughts of death. I have participated in thoughts of doubt and uncertainty and so forth. And because of that, I'm experiencing a hellish experience because of it. So I'm inviting you to search out your unloving thoughts in whatever form that they may appear. Okay, it could appear as uneasiness, uh, depression, uh, anger, fear, worry, attack, insecurity, and so forth. They are all unloving thoughts, and therefore, they are fearful. In other words, you're being informed by fear, and therefore, you will attack because of it, and you are dismissing and throwing your treasure away of love by those attack thoughts. And those attack thoughts, those anger thoughts, those insecurity thoughts are keeping you in hell. But you're better than that. As I told my uh, Zoom students on Sunday 1 p.m. last Sunday, and I'll repeat it this Sunday, uh, uh, this Sunday at 1 p.m. as well, why would you fly with the wings of a sparrow when the wings of an eagle has been given to you, right? So you don't have to play small here, okay? When we judge, when we project our own fears to other people, when, when we worry and so forth, we are limiting our infinite consciousness to and, and, and um, our infinite light, infinite love to a pile of dust, a self-image called Kevin Rice, who thinks he knows what's in his own best interest, and he doesn't, okay? But his higher source does know, okay? So it's an opportunity for you and I to keep our sanity, our wits about ourselves, to experience the harmony, the balance that has been given to all of us if we accept it and become receptive to this higher voice that guides us and through the corridors of time and space, okay? I hope that you today search out your unloving thoughts and replace it with a loving thought instead, okay? Because your thoughts are so potent and powerful, okay? So if no one has told you today that they love you, allow me to be the first. I freaking love you so much. You are pure light.